I was going to call him a dir dirty hooker, but I didn't want to go that far. See, but how do we know what he does? He may not actually be a hooker. He may not be a he. We are assuming Sasquatch's gender. We're horrible people. What's up, everybody? Blue Dog 35 here with Doug again. Doug literally just walked in the door from work. It's it cold. Is, it's cold, but it's like... It's better than it was when I went in last night. When I went in last night, it was 18 degrees. And that's uh, that's Fahrenheit. Yeah, um, it's 7.51 a.m. Uh, we are trying the new Mountain Dew holiday flavor. It's, now, it's not holiday brew. Holiday no. brew is its own thing. Right, but it is uh, it is a holiday limited edition. Limited edition. Uh, I've only had a few. It's called Merry Mashup, and it's cherry pomegranate, cranberry, sorry, cranberry pomegranate with other natural flavors. Uh, this is what the can looks like. It's quite festive. And something we can tell you is we are a big fan of anything cranberry, anything pomegranate, yeah, and anything I, involving both. I love pomegranate. Like Pomegranate is one of my absolute favorites. Um, give it the good old sniff test. I don't really have a sense of smell, but yeah. Ooh. Okay, from what I can smell. It's got a little bit of spice to it. Hmm. It's got a little bit of... Speaking of spice, that Spice Sprite, they yeah. actually sell them in these size cans. Oh, these big ones now? Yeah. Alright. Uh, you want a three, yep, two, three, one? Three, two, one. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep, that's a win. That's that's that's, that's a win. It's it's it almost tastes like it's like super carbonated. It it tastes like extra carbonated. I'm okay with it though. I oh think no, me too. Yeah. I will say maybe the fact that we're both coming off of being sick has something to do with that mm -hmm. that kind of carbonation scent. But it what I be. can say is the flavors there. Mm. This is definitely not holiday brew for those for those who you who I know yeah. we set just said it, but seriously, yeah, this you. is nothing like it. You can taste the cranberry, you can taste the pomegranate. Mm -hmm. This is a different drink. This is yeah. This is not this holiday is better. Brew. <laughs> you think this is better than holiday brew? Really? I mean, it's no do sa, but <clears throat> do sa was pretty good. Even Liberty Brew was good. I mean, Liberty Brew was good, but Do Us Say was like... Do Us Say was probably my our, favorite. Hashtag bring back Do Us Say. <laughs> um, no, I like this. Um, I good. think... I really, really, truly... Like, I love I love cranberry juice. And I adore pomegranate. Like, pomegranate's probably my favorite drink in the world. Um, I really do wish they went a little more on the pomegranate, because it's, you know... You can distinguish between the two. You can taste them both. And there's a little bit of a spice. I don't know if it's like a cinnamon or if it's like something else. But there's... Let's <coughs> see. There's a little bit of a spice there. It's not going to tell you. It's just going to say natural flavors. Well, no. Here, Here's the thing. Cinnamon, <coughs> cinnamon's weird. I've noticed in a lot of things that if, some, if cinnamon is in it... It'll say? It'll say cinnamon. Well, I don't see it. So it might it might just be like allspice or something. Yeah. Be it's the yeah. same thing that's in the winter well, the the winter spice. It, it spray. tastes like you you took the cranberry and the pomegranate and you put just like a dash of like Dr Pepper in it, just like a tiny bit. Oh no, I really like this because it's got that it's got that like spicy, not spicy, not actually spicy, but like. No, I like this too. I will like say this. they really sweetened buy. it up, but you usually have it is quite sweet. It usually happens with anything cranberry. Mm -hmm. Even the cranberry people are like, "Hey, if we well, don't yeah, add because, it, yeah. it's cranberry can be forty six grams of added sugar for ninety two percent of your daily value." Holy per can per can. <laughs> oh my god! I didn't even <laughs> see that. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's a, here's Liberty Brew, or is this Do SA? This is Liberty Brew. Liberty Brew had the same forty six grams. Well, maybe we're just dying that much faster. I don't know. 
I uh, don't know. And then vanilla Coke, 42 grams. 42, 42 to 46 seems like the magic number for these oh. sodas. That's weird. But, hey, uh, no, I mean, um, for, uh, you know, all but 8% of my daily sugar in one I'm, can. I'm sure I'll only drink one can a day. Well, I'm trying to lay off the sugary beverages. <coughs> so No, we have been drinking a lot of Kool-Aid. Oh, wait, there's two cups of sugar. In, I think, in there's two cups and a gallon of Kool-Aid. And a gallon of Kool-Aid, because I drink like a fish. A gallon of Kool-Aid lasts me over a day. More than a day. So, granted, that's a lot of sugar, but at the same time, you know... It's yeah, a lot of sugar's relative. It's a lot of beverage. That that m amount of sugar is like two of these. You know? Fair enough. Fair enough. Um. No, I, I, this is definitely a holiday treat. Uh, I like this. I think it's, I think it's better than holiday brew. But I think that's because I love cranberry and pomegranates. Uh, yeah. I'm more of a cranberry person, and because the cranberries mm -hmm. kind of front and center in this. Well, you can you get the cranberry aftertaste, too. It's not as bitter as if you just drank, like, straight-up cranberry juice. I like the design but, of the can. Yeah, me too. That's definitely one for the collection. I, I, I... Like... This is the thing that kind of sucks about the life of cans, mm -hmm. is every time we do one of these, I kind of want to almost drink what I had last year to give myself a refresher. Mm-hmm. But one, the flavor in those cans never lasts a year. Even if they're still drinkable, yeah, the flavor is just not... I, I can actually attest to that because... Um, do you remember when they had... This is way back when. This is going back to like 2010, 2012. Um, <coughs> pardon me. <coughs> uh, do you remember when they had the vote for three? There yes. There were three different ones. There was like... Um, it was it was whiteout typhoon. And they ended up keeping two of them anyway. But I forget what the third one was. It was like the black. Well, they had live wire. They had no the... live wire was not one of the three. Oh. It was it was a it was a darker one. It was like the black cherry or not black cherry, but like grape. Uh, it was grape something. I remember. And then they had typhoon, which was like a fruit punch. And then they had whiteout. It was the there would vote for th it was vote for the best one, and they had three different ones. Um, my favorite one was the typhoon, and my friend Will and I used to go around and buy all the all the different ones. And oh my god, um, I remember in it was maybe two thousand and. 13 or something it was it was at least three years after that had happened that vote for the do um, and they hadn't made it and it was several years out of date but will found a can of it in a refrigerator uh, in his mom's basement and he gave it to me and I cracked it open to see what you know if it was you know whatever and it didn't have any like floaties or anything in it and it smelled okay, so I gave it a little sip, and, you know, the old, like, Ashen style, and it was fine. It was absolutely fine. It was a little, it wasn't flat, but it was a little less, you know, um, carbonated, uh, but the flavor had kind of gone away. Um, it had definitely, you know, uh, faded. All right, so... I heard all that, but... Apparently, there's like five flavors in circulation right now that are exclusives at certain places. Really? Yes. And, okay, so there's... We may the have to make some Amazon purchases. Maui Burst, which is available at Dollar General. Okay. Sweet Lightning. Mm -hmm. Isn't that the one with, like, honey in it or something? Soda Machines Only at KFC Restaurants. Okay, okay, I remember, okay. Last time we went to KFC, the, I tried it, you tried it. It's that one that you put in the cup and it literally looked like a glow stick, like you cracked a glow stick in okay. it. And it was like Did we like it? No. Okay. 
No. Uh, Goji Citrus Strawberry, exclusively at Jackson's. I don't know what that is. Uh, For all you Jackson's fans, I'm sorry. Uh, I don't know. It's probably like a burger joint at And then Cyclone, which is a Mountain Dew flavor, Speedway Gas Station. Oh, God, that's like Midwest. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. Um, but we can definitely hit up a Dollar General. There's one in, in town. We Well, we might have to go to KFC because regardless of refreshing my memory, I want chicken. Yeah, I would love some KFC. Um, I'm trying to find the Berry Monsoon. Maybe that was it. Uh, berry Monsoon, which was Berry Lime. It was released May 2018? Only at Sam's Club locations. My God! Can you know what? Shock. Maybe it was Livewire. It was Democracy from 2007 to 2008. And it was... Uh... Revolution, Supernova, and Voltage. Then where the fuck did Typhoon come from? Um. Okay. Exclusive Maybe. to Australia. Mountain Dew Energized with caffeine. Oh. Okay. God, how did we not know about this? I feel like... I don't know, but I, I, I remember... You know... I'm I'm looking at the list of Mountain Dew flavors and varieties. Um, Mountain Dew Revolution. Mountain Dew Cotton Candy, even I have to say no. Really? Yeah. Mm. Passion Fruit Frenzy. Uh, this list is not in chronological order. Oh, Mountain Dew flavor 648. White out. Uh huh. Which is still made. Solar yeah, white out. flare. I don't know. These are these are it sounds like fucking paint chips. Um Voltage. Alright, so what is it? Democracy one? I'd I would See, I could have sworn it was called Typhoon. I, I could have sworn. Um, I, I, like... Yeah, it was. So it was Typhoon? Yeah, and, and, and... Alright, Mountain Dew Typhoon... Uh, in the second Democracy promotion, 2011. Okay. So, the second Democracy. And that was, uh, let's see. Distortion, Typhoon, and Whiteout. And the winner was, um, I'm pretty sure the winner was Whiteout. Because they still make it. And I... What was distortion? It was like a black, not black, but it was like a dark, um, grapeish. Uh, I I don't know. It was. Do you remember Mountain Dew Pitch Black? They still make it. They do. I'm pretty sure. Pitch Black. I think. I I remember they stopped making it because. Why do I think they still make it? It was it was bl black grape and it was made until eleven, two thousand eleven. In the U.S., it's made in Canada and international. Well, it sounds like regardless, we have some international purchases to yeah, make. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. Uh, um, you know, shipping a, for friggin' liquid is outrageous, though. Uh, so. There's there's a Game Fuel Europe edition. Okay. So well, we'll definitely have to look into that, but yeah, um, uh, tirade aside. I think we aside, got a little off point. Yeah, <laughs> we ti apologize. Tirade aside, um, this merry mashup is definitely good. If you are a fan of pomegranate 
and ch cherry. I said cherry. This, he's <laughs> allergic to cherry. I love uh, cherry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you if you're a fan of pomegranate and cranberry, or both, uh, then especially you, if you like cranberry, the cranberry is front and center in this. It one. is, but it's not as bitter as yeah. Like, and if it's you not, just you know if, glug glug cranberry juice, which I can do because I love cranberry juice. I as well. But if if you're the kind of person that can just drink straight up cranberry juice, then you're gonna like this, it's, especially if you like pomegranate juice as well. <coughs> Ooh, not it bad. makes good burps too. But no, um. Doesn't make me want to kill myself. Okay, <laughs> but no, it's it's good. It's it's definitely good. Um, right. Happy I holidays, this, everybody! Yes, happy holidays I, on I, I'm uh, November. What is it? November is thirteenth. <laughs> November thirteenth. Happy holidays. Um, you know, I don't even turn the lights on my car on until December first. I what? It's not even Thanksgiving's better than Christmas anyway. Go well, ahead, roast me. In, in a way, yes. If you, <laughs> I don't care. for for personal reasons, I'd agree. But I, I, I mean, I've always value Thanksgiving over Christmas. Nothing personal against people like Christmas. It's just, I've had to work too many Christmases and had too many bad things happen on Christmas. The only times things go right is with the turkey and with New Year's Eve. That's yeah. the only time. Yeah, I'd agree. But anyways, uh, if you like this video, rate, subscribe, like, comment. Send me death threats. Um, send send Doug uh, love hugs and back massages. I would also um, accept pillows for my endlessly tired nap. Yes. Needs. He, yes. He he uh, he needs pillows. Get this man pillows. Stat. Donate to my Patreon to buy Doug pillows. Yes. Or just send pillows to our house. Yes. Okay. Just well, they don't know our address, and we're not going to send them our address. Well, actually, if you. Uh, nah, I don't know. No. If you want to send Doug a pillow, get in touch with me on social media. I'm going to get like a bag of poop. <laughs> a bag. A, a pillow sack just like stapled shut and it's full of shit. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Somebody sent me a package. Oh, Did what? I call oh. it a pillow sack? Yeah. I did. Did I? Let's rewind. Pillow sack. Pillow sack. Pillow sack. I still don't know because that's not how time works. But if I called it a pillow sack, then for some reason it's it's pillow sack in there. But, uh... I don't know. Anyways, um... Find a way to get me pillows. Yes, donate to donate to my Patreon for getting Doug pillows. All proceeds will go towards getting Doug pillows. I might want a pillow, too, so if you want to throw a couple bucks my in My pillow, for it's a... the best pillow you'll ever own. Oh, yeah, I remember that. But anyways, no, I'm I'm not actually begging for money. This that's a joke. Uh, check out other two fat guys try. Um, I'm gonna put this up as soon as possible because this is a uh, new flavor and we want it to be relevant. Um, I do have another thing that is currently being edited, um, but I think I'm gonna hold on to it until a little bit later um, and release that what, one. What is it? We can redact it later. Uh, th that. Oh oh yeah. I think oh. I think we're gonna. I'm about halfway through editing. Um, All right, good. We'll we won't <coughs> them, we won't tell them about the. Oh, you mean the. Yeah, it's a good thing that we. And oh boy, will they never get that we. Doug, don't ever say that again. They do not know want to know what you did to the, and how you your, inside the. What about the playground? Eh. We, we and might have a... Did you forget? That? <laughs> this bit's going nowhere. All right, know. anyways. Uh, Hosta, thanks for watching. Hosta. I had pasta for dinner last night. Angel hair. Those poor hairless angels. All I can think of is scalped angels now, thanks. Hey Doug, what are you doing in there? Preparing this next bonus clip. Awesome. It's gonna drop soon. Ooh, listen to that. Was it, was it spicy? Painful. <laughs>
Oh my god, Douglas, you look wonderful with that handbag. Strut your stuff for us. The world wants to see. Oh my god, Douglas. It's wonderful. You're gorgeous. You're gorgeous. Oh my god.